Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do um, a quick reading for you. So this, this will be the energy for this day. This energy can be past, present, or future. If it resonates for you, please go over to the website, book your reading there. But also, like, share, comment, subscribe, okay? All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's jump into this Aries. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So Aries, it looks like you do some contractual work um, by way of a large entity or corporation. If, you, if it's not contractual work, you work very independently. Um, I mean, you may have a team of people that do the same thing as you, but you do not work closely um, with others in terms of um, at a desk every single day. Uh, I don't know, you might be out in the field or you get to um, work independently, work at home. I don't know. There's some some uh, aspect of your, your work being done independently. For some of you, you do some spiritual work and it could be from home. Um, it is your business uh, altogether. The cards are asking you to be more savvy in your, in your business dealings. Um, work smarter, not harder. Um, bring in new fresh idea. Um, don't be close to criticism, uh, constructive criticism. That's what I'm getting. All right, so let's see, Aries. Some of you, you're dealing with somebody who's married, but they try to act independently inside of their marriage, act as if they're not married, come off as single, um, as if they can do whatever they want. Maybe they are, maybe they are concerned about themselves. Aries, this could be you, you could be married and you're acting single, how other people perceive you as is as single. Um, let's see. Yeah, the Six of Wands. Um, be cautious of what you're doing, Aries, at this time. It says that um, the pride comes before the fall. This is my cheating scandal card. When you think you're getting away with something, you're cheating, you're swindling, you're masquerading as something else or as if something is not what it is. It says that um, there's room for it to be publicized. This card is about the public for it to be exposed. Um, it says that somebody could win the battle but not the war. They win the battle by um, putting themselves first extracting themselves from this turbulent, chaotic, drama-filled, childish uh, love affair or behavior going on around them. Uh, they chose to take the high road and move on and put all energy focus into themselves to have more balance within themselves firstly. Then it will, you know, be shown outwardly. There's somebody else, there's somebody also moving on and strutting their stuff, getting attention, putting themselves out there. I don't know what you're moving on from. It could be moving on from uh, the competitiveness of a job, of a relationship, of a friend group, I don't know. Let's see. Of an association, maybe everybody was very competitive. The death card, yeah. Um, death and rebirth so uh, energy never dies it just transforms so um from this ending you're going to transform it into a new beginning into something new fresh um this definitely could look like a relationship or you're going to try to transform the energy of the relationship into something new and fresh maybe you're going to try to change your behavior or try to cultivate better behavior for yourself and your partner um the death card here you're willing to do what you need to do necessary to to have rebirth, to see something through, to keep your foundation uh, right where it is. Somebody also in this connection or this equation, whatever it may be, they could be changing right before your eyes. Um, you thought it was one way, it's another way. They're showing you another side of themselves. Let's see what this is. Uh, two of Swords, um, you're failing to realize or to see, um, maybe even to make some change or some plans here. It's easier to just walk away from the decision than to actually make a decision, which is walking, walking away is making a decision. 
um, you feel like you just need to walk away and then you'll come back to it, whatever it is. There's no cooperation here um, in terms of... So this looks like maybe some, there's somebody on the outside of a connection and you've walked away from them. You have not completely cut them out, but you've walked away from them. Or Aries, this is you. Uh, someone's walked away from you and um, they're trying to put more focused effort into their connection, their relationship. Or they're trying to ignore the feelings that they have for you. Um, it looks like there will be opportunity for reconciliation and reunion here, but not before somebody gets on the other person's plan. You gotta, you know, is this person following you or are you following them? Is what the cards say um, with the Two of Swords here. So, yeah, the Strength card. Somebody's definitely trying to refrain from uh, contacting you, talking to you, seeing you, being around you. Um, they're trying to hold back or vice versa. This is what you're doing. I mean, somebody's trying to walk the straight and narrow here um, because they don't want something to be exposed. They don't want to be it to be publicized. Or to, yeah, they don't want someone to go to the public or yeah, they don't want something to be publicized, exposed here. Um, it could be a cheating scandal, sex scandal, something where someone has been engaging in sex intimacy mystery keeping the shroud of mystery over the other person's eyes or over the wool over a lot of people's eyes here um so someone's trying to tame themselves now before they get caught which that's what it really looks like um someone's trying to hold back um refrain from someone also could be asking for forgiveness uh, that they, they are saying that they want to be more truthful honest truthful honest or same thing but um they want to deal with the other person or they want the other person to deal with them with an air of compassion be compassionate hear me out um you don't have to agree but please deal with me with compassion here somebody's trying to change something about them or themselves they, they have two options they have a lot of options that they were either pursuing or could be pursuing uh, there were all the options were no strings attached everyone knew that this person was already attached to something there's a uh, something hidden here a third party situation something that had been going on for a very long time now someone's telling this secret person hey we've got to cool it out um, I don't want this to get out I'm trying to heal my marriage my connection um, someone's saying I want my family or if they're not actually saying it to you they're showing it to you or this is what you're doing Aries if you feel like this reading resonates for you go over to the website book your reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below pay for your question on your uh, all on your mobile device and receive the answer on your mobile device you can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link all links are below in the description box and if you want to get in on the full moon release ritual then um the link is below if you want to release negativity negative thoughts anxiety overthinking overeating overindulgence addictive behavior trauma let the full moon energy help you release those things um, thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.